Hey everyone, it's Charlotte from BritScent. Lots of students love the idea of reading in English. It's a fun and effective way to study. So today I want to recommend two books that I think you'll really enjoy. For fiction lovers, we have a classic. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by JK Rowling. If you don't know this story, then you should. A poor orphan boy who is abused and neglected by his aunt and uncle discovers that he has magical powers. He then goes to a fantastical school for witches and wizards called Hogwarts, where he makes some wonderful friends, goes on crazy adventures and learns the secret behind his parents' deaths. This book is great to read in English for three reasons. Number one, you probably already know the story. If you've read it in Korean or watched the movie, then the English book will be easier to follow. Number two, it's a children's book, which means the language is simpler and there's plenty of dialogue. Number three, it's motivating to read a really famous book like this. So you'll want to make it all the way to the end. Now I'm going to tell you how it starts. A breeze ruffled the neat hedges of Privet Drive which lay silent and tidy under the inky sky. The very last place you would expect astonishing things to happen. Harry Potter rolled over inside his blankets without waking up. One small hand closed on the letter beside him and he slept on, not knowing he was special, not knowing he was famous, not knowing he would be woken in a few hours' time by Mrs. Dursley's scream as she opened the front door to put out the milk bottles, nor that he would spend the next few weeks being prodded and pinched by his cousin Dudley. He couldn't know that at this very moment, people meeting in secret all over the country were holding up their glasses and saying in hushed voices, to Harry Potter, the boy who lived, And if you're more interested in non-fiction and self-improvement, then why not try Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book is a step-by-step -step guide to making better habits. It shows us how small changes in our habits can lead to big results and combines science and personal stories. This book is great because number one, the language is clear and instructional and each chapter has a summary of the main points so you can check your understanding. And number two, it's a book about habits so you can use its advice to motivate you and build good reading habits at the same time. Here's how James Clear talks about habits. All big things come from small beginnings. The seed of every habit is a single tiny decision. But as that decision is repeated, a habit sprouts and grows stronger. Roots entrench themselves and branches grow. The task of breaking a bad habit is like uprooting a powerful oak within us. And the task of building a good habit is like cultivating a delicate flower one day at a time. So, which book are you leaning towards? If you're inspired to get reading, reading with others can be really fun and motivational. As part of our BritScent community, we run monthly reading clubs and we'll be covering Harry Potter and Atomic Habits very soon. So, check out the info below and if you're interested, please do sign up. We'd love to see you there.